This is Shelly Looney, and this is what she does every day. Nice job! She coaches young girls who share her same passion for hockey, a passion that has served as her motivation to succeed in all areas of her life. Here's your coffee. Oh, thanks, Shelly. It's so nice to be in your home and with your puppy and... I'm glad you're here. Let's talk about where it all got started. Oh, geez. What was it like for you, um, you know, the challenges that you faced as a, as a woman playing this sport? You know, back then there was no girls that we knew of that played hockey and I asked my parents and they had to ask the coaches, they're like, can a girl play? Because my daughter wants to try it. And they allowed me to come on the ice and um, they were always very supportive. And how did the boys on the team treat you? <laughs> you know, they were great. Um, I was just one of the teammates. If they gave me a hard time, they would know it because I would give it right back to them. We know you were a tremendous athlete, but talk to me about <laughs> school and what that was like for you. So school was very challenging for me. I think I was in third or fourth grade when I was uh, told that I had a form of dyslexia. I just knew that it took me twice as long to do my homework than anybody else. And by the time I was done, it was dark. So I never got to go outside and play. The passion for hockey made me excel in school because I didn't want it, something to be taken away from me. Shelly excelled both on and off the ice and was accepted to Northeastern University on a partial scholarship. While in school, she made the U.S. national team and a few years after graduating, was selected to play at the Winter Olympic Games in Nagano. Gold medal game, women's Olympic hockey. 14 prior games played between these two. What did it mean to you to be a part of that first team to make the Olympic debut for women's hockey? Me personally, and I think some other girls on the team, were like, oh, it's just another tournament, you know? Like, we've never seen and been a part of something so magnificent. Now Mounsey across, fed back in by Sandra White, their shot, score! But as the time went on and, you know, we started winning and then we realized how much of an impact that could be on, you know, the United States. Talk to me and walk me through your goal of the game. Sandra White, I remember it clearly. She got the puck in the top of the blue line and she shot towards me in the, the back door and I happened to swing in a hit. Drops it back to Gretchen Julian. Fed one in front. What did you feel like at that moment? I couldn't believe it, to be honest. <laughs> I, in the video, and I've seen pictures that I just jumped 10 feet up in the air. That's how I felt. This is no miracle. It's an arrival for women's hockey, and the women of Team USA. Technically, I guess mine is the game. It is definitely the game-winning game goal. goal. It's not technically. It is the game-winning goal. Yeah. You scored the game-winning goal to win an Olympic gold medal. I mean, I have tears in my eyes just thinking about it. I was very blessed. I mean, I was there at the right time in the right place, but I had 19 other girls around me. It's something that we'll cherish together as a, as a group of young women. It was just special. Ready, set, go! Based on your story and what you've achieved in your life, what's the message that you try to convey to your girls every day? Shoot for the moon, and if you fall short, it's okay. At least you gave it your best. If I didn't shoot for the moon, I wouldn't be here today. I just believed in myself and uh, was hoping for the best. And you got it. I did. <laughs>